Hey, Russell here, AKA Bell and Circuit. Today we're taking a deep dive into the beat I made a couple of weeks ago. For this one, I used a DJ beat record, a couple of cheesy jazz and funk records, and a spaghetti western soundtrack. There are also a few bits and bobs that I nicked from a dub record. If you're interested, you can check out the full sampling beat. The link is in the description, of course, and you can find the full beat on my SoundCloud account. Link also in the description. So, let's get into it. this piece is just ripped straight off of a DJ beat record so it probably come came from somewhere else I don't know I don't care uh, this is what it sounds like uh, the original was much faster so if we take a look at that sounds like this and a bit wimpy as well we put the incredible Ableton drum bus plug-in which makes all the drums knock I threw in a couple of drum hits to help as transition and act as fills so for example I combined the beat the fill and the bass turnaround chop to create the transition going into the um, next section, the piano chords chop. So that sounds like this. Also the buildup has sampled drums. That sample sounds like this. I add in the main beat only sped up this time. So when that comes in, it sounds like this. Then I add in the main break. So I'm just ramping up the intensity by continuing to add percussion. So the piano sample chops also had drum hits in them. That gives the illusion of more actually happening than just the straight beat. On its own, it sounds like this. Pretty disjointed. In context, sounds like this with the beat. So you get the double hits, ghost notes, and all that, um, which really is just a happy accident for me playing around with the chops. So the chops came from this sample. Slow jams. And then I laid out the chops like this. And then I played them like this. In the lead up to the chops, I just used the straight, uh, some straight piano chords that came from that same song, but that's just basically loop. Yeah. 
And then I layered a two note whistle kind of sound from a Spaghetti Western record that sounds like this. And in context. After the chops, I put in an organ sample and a bell that I got off of a dub record. And then all together with the break. The last melodic elements are two different string samples. One I am calling a sad string sample and the other one a mournful string sample. It may be a distinction without a difference. Here is the mournful sample. And then I alternate it with the sad string sample. Which has a lot more bass content. So it kind of gives a lot more ebb and flow to the beat then. So in context. Then I sprinkled in some hype vocals from the DJ beat record as well as uh, something I got off of the dub record. All right. All right. Yo, give us a beat, man. Then we have a little MC Toasty. And there you have it. That's pretty much all the elements. It was a simple beat, but all the samples really worked well together. And I focused on tweaking transitions so that I could tie everything together in a way that made sense and was pleasing. Check out the full beat on SoundCloud. We'll see you next time. Oops.